guys. I wanted to come to you today with a review on the Viseart eye palette. It's a six shade professional eyeshadow palette and it is the Theory palette. And yes, I have all kinds of setting spray and stuff on this outside carton. This is the Theory for Amethyst is what it says right there. So I purchased this at the last VIB sale. This is $45 for this and I ended up paying $36 with 20% off of it. Normally I don't pay that much for six shades of eyeshadow. Um, this is a rarity to me and I was like I don't I don't know what it's like. I want and the reason let me go and show you what why I bought this. This is the Laura Mercier. It's the I Art Artist palette and this is about four years old and I bought it um, on a VIB sale back then and this is what the shades look like in it. And as you can see, I've hit pan on three of them. This one has a dip in it. This one has a major dip in it. That one does. And that one does. Um, this one has a slight dip in it. This one, I don't know if I've ever used it. Um, I've been using these other ones now. and um, But this is the palette that I wanted to get eyeshadows like because this is four years old and my favorite all-time sh shadow out of this is the African Violet right here. And so I actually have this pan of the African Violet and let me do a swatch for you on what it looks like if I can get enough out of the pan for you. I may have to go back over the palette. Um, but I did go on the Laura Mercier website last night and I got this. So that's what that looks like. Let me see if I can get it a little darker from the palette. That's about as dark as it's going to get right here. But that's what it looks like. And it is a purple with gold in it. And this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow. And this right here is cost $25. I actually got it on the Laura Mercier site last night. For some reason, I guess because it's getting ready to be Black Friday. They had it for $18.75. And I picked that one up. So I picked that one up, but I still wanted other eyeshadows to go along with it. And since this is four years old, I probably shouldn't even be using it on my eyes anyways. But I wanted to get some of those other colors. And I wanted to get a good palette. So I wasn't interested in browns or, you know, all the blues or any other color. I just wanted things that were purple. I wanted a purple sh eyeshadow palette. And Viseart has a 9 pan palette that I would really like to have, um, but they were out during the Sephora VIB sale, and I was like, let's just try this, because I looked up reviews on both of them, and this one was a little bit better in reviews than the other one. So I'm like, okay, just go for it, just see what you think of it. Is it worth $45? My answer to that is is yes. I have used this. I have used all the colors, all three of these colors and this color. I haven't used the bottom, these two right here yet. But today I have this one on in my um, crease and under the, under the first shade on my um, lid. And then I have this one tapped on top of it uh, with my finger. So I used a crease brush for this one to buff it in in my crease and then I used this with my finger and this is what it turned out. This is my favorite look that I have done so far with this um, palette. And I am not a creative person. I usually put two shades down. If I put three shades down, it ends up looking like crap show. So. I just do the basic. I don't really understand the whole smoky eye thing. I 
I've watched tutorials on it many, many times. Still don't get it because every time I try to do it, it does not turn into... Uh, there's a light on in there. I didn't realize it. Um, it turns into a big old mess and I, I hate it usually. So I've used um, this one and this one together. I put this one in the crease and I put this one on the lid. Then I put this one in the crease and it's a satin. Um, I think these are all satins and these are all mattes. And I put a satin in the crease and on the lid. I have no idea if you're supposed to be doing that. I just do my own thing around here. So I have done these. I absolutely love them and I wanted to show you um, the swatches of them. You watch, I'll screw these colors up yet. Um, there's the purple, the dark purple. The next, let me see if I can get that swatched better for you. That's what it looks like. And then the lightest one. My swatching abilities are not the best, so. And then I have a wipe here because I'll have this stuff all over me before it's all over. It look like fool. Um, and then I'll sh let me wait for my hands to dry off, and I will. Um, so then the next one is this dark shade here, this medium shade, and then the light. So, which one goes next? Okay. Like I said, I'm not the most intelligent person doing this. Um, that is the swatches of it. I'm not very good at swatching either, by the way, as you can tell. That's what it looks like. And I have this one on today and this one. And that's what's on my eyes right now. And which one did I put on? I put this one in the crease. I've used this one in the crease and I've used this one on it. No, this one on it. That's it. Um, on my eyelid. I absolutely love that. I have not used the other two. I want to use this one with the light one. But out of the four shades that I have used so far, I am absolutely loving them all. Probably the one that will get the least use out of this palette will be this shade right here. Just simply because that is way too dark and I will never get that buffed out. Um, I know how I am and I love this one. I can't wait to use that one. Um, all the other ones I've used and I absolutely love them. They buff out like a dream. Um, you can use them, the satins, by just tapping, putting your finger in it. And I don't even think I had anything on my finger. I just rubbed my finger in it and started tapping it on my um, hand this morning. Or on my eyelid this morning. Not my hand. What an idiot. Um, I did that this morning. And this is what the look turned out like. So, I am absolutely loving this palette. So, if I was to go through this palette... I would definitely get it again, even if it cost me $45 because I love um, plum purple colors like this. I love them and I just think they're amazing. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this palette. Um, the shades are beautiful. Um, they remind me of the shades that are in this Laura Mercier palette right here, the ones that I use. And I wanted something that was good like this because this is an amazing palette. You can tell I've obviously loved this thing, used it. I still use it. And, um, but I wanted to pick something up. And it's hard to find a good purple palette. 
fine purple just to start off with, but a good purple palette. So yes, I would recommend this one. It is a little expensive, but if you want something that's good, that's going to work for you, blends out well, um, where you can even just wipe your fingers in it and pat it out on your eyelid, this one works. And I used it on a, I think the crease brush I used was a Moda. You can get it from Walmart. It worked, these work well with that. You don't need some expensive, um, I think I, I've used it with Real Techniques and the Moda brush and absolutely loved it and they're not expensive brushes so I think this is a really good um, eyeshadow palette and definitely worth it because this is gonna take a while to go through so um, if I get through this and I need another one I will definitely go back and get this one um, because I just love the way that it is and it's the theory for amethyst and so I love this. So it's by Viseart. And I've always seen people buy Viseart. And I'm like, I won't put, I would never buy that. And then I did. Because I was like, I was looking for something specific. And I found it in this palette right here. So I am absolutely loving it. Um, I just wanted to let you all know that um, I got it in, you all know, I if you've watched my VIB sale, I, get, I got this and I wanted to let you know. Um, what my thoughts were on it. Would I purchase this again? Um, do I think it's a good palette? Yes, I do. The Amethyst shade. I think they have different, like six different palettes like this. Um, I don't know what the other ones are like, but the Amethyst one is a good one and I love it. And it is like this, the quality of, if not better, I think the quality is better than the Laura Mercier. And this one I have absolutely loved. Um, you can tell by the look of this palette that I have absolutely loved it. And then I have gone through an entire African Violet and I got another one. And I hope this doesn't ever go out or they stop making it because this is my all-time favorite um, eyeshadow right here. It's called African Violet by Laura Mercier. So I absolutely love that. So I wanted to let you know what my thoughts were on this palette, the Viseart Amethyst uh, Theory Palette. So if you've used this, if you've used any of the other shades or any Viseart palettes, let me do know down in the comments below what your thoughts are, which one you've used, what you think of it, if you think it's worth the money. Um, because I didn't think I would think it was worth it, but I do. Because even if I just use five of these, that's $9 a pan, and I paid $25 for this. I probably bought it on a VIB sale, so I probably got this for $20 for one color. So, um, yeah, I'm willing to pay that if they're really, really good. And I have eyeshadow palettes in there. I don't have a lot. So, um, but this one I really, really like, and one I like best is it's really little bitty. So, um, this one is smaller than, like, I have two of the Too Faced Chocolate, the Bon Bon, and then the original palette. Um, I have, um, a Too Faced Christmas palette that's huge, and I like the size of these because they're small, you could travel with them, and... I think they're amazing. So, yes, I would definitely recommend this. So, I just wanted to let you all know my thoughts on it. Um, like I said, if you have comments, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.